don't say anything. Saying this, you are the one who is creating the noise. You give him a soft rope, and you both were moving toward the bear. Like rovers in the night, four days have passed since your arrival here. Get ready to get bread. If I get this call because of you, you are being so stubborn. Yes, yes. You stood up straight, looked into the veil, and began to laugh. Van, what happened to you? This is perfect. And it, there is nothing to be afraid of. For the first time, I agree with you. With the roll of his eyes. You both turn to face the tall man who gave you a hard club. Ah, oh, please leave my air, Mr. John. You are so stubborn. I had told you not to go there. Still you defy me, huh? Mr. John, it's a... He let go of your air and begins removing your cloth. You have covered your body and have a wide eye. He sign heavily and back off. Remove them and take a bath. Right now, it's midnight. He start moving in your direction. No, no, I'm off. I will remove them inside. He turned around when he heard the door close. Grab your cloth and left the room. Ten minutes later, he emerged from the bathroom wearing a bathrobe. Where had he gone? He came in and sat down on the bed and noticed you trembling. You tested your body. He gave you a sign before giving you a big hug. Honey, are you mad? He gently pushed him away. He slipped inside the cover and waved his arm, but... Baby, you... He whispered and kissed that spot on your neck. Are you punishing me? He touched your interlock, your bare skin, causing your side to run down your body and heat to rise. Hmm, you are so bad, you hit me. I will punish you. Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, oh, oh. 